We're gonna need a bucket with water. So we're gonna put this soap in the water, kinda spread it around. Not too much, but maybe too much, I don't know how much. That's probably will do. And then kinda spread it with the finger, gently, you know. Very gently spread it with the finger, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of jokes in the comments, that's what she said. So then we're gonna grab our butane and just open it and put it upside down into water and kinda spray it. You see we got bubbles. And then we're gonna scoop these bubbles up and move away from that bucket because it's full with a bunch of stuff and light it up. Pretty cool, huh? Let's try this again. Alright, check it out. Water. We're gonna put water in a can, this 100 milliliters. You see, there is no dents, and everybody knows that if you have 100 milliliters left water inside, you can bounce water like that. You see? Not too epic, a lot of people know it. But what I'm gonna show you is more epic. Let's bring our measuring cup up and bounce it on the rim of the glass. You gotta be very patient to do this. You see there is no bumps right here. So this is completely normal can, not deformed. All we have is 100 milliliters of water. And sometimes it takes a while to get it, but it's possible. Check it out, and now it's floating in the air like that. Let's check out the close. Oh snap, I hit. You see how I didn't cut all the way? Because I'm gonna be just like pushing it on this side right here. Peel on it and pull it out. This part we're gonna need, you see like it's clear. And this part with this stuff we're not gonna need. Alright, and then you're gonna need a lighter. We grab this part like this sideways and apply fire on it. Till you see like a, uh, it starts like a small dent coming down. Like apply like circles. And then you gotta be quick, blow on it. You gotta be really quick. Is that insane? Check this out. It's like a bag. Today we're gonna need a vase, a string and a pen. And as you can see I tied up a vase to this side right here and a pencil on the other side. Alright, I'm freaking too tall so my head might get cut off from the lens. But most important that you can see this. So we got a vase tied up to a wall and on the other side a uh, pencil tied up to a wall. And we're gonna put the rope on a finger like that. I hope you guys can see. And just let it go, the pencil right here. What do you think will happen? Will the waist just fall or will the small pencil will stop the waist from falling? Let's check it out. This is a really cool take and tell me how does this work scientifically. So let's go. Check it out. And it didn't fall. And this works every single time. You put it on your finger like this, let go the pencil, it's gonna wrap up on your finger and the waist not gonna fall on the floor. Right, here's what you do. You stick one match on one side and one match on the other side. Close that. And just put it down. Grab a third match and stick it in between. Just on edges. And light it up on this side right here. You seen that? Alright, let's try this again. We're gonna replace it same stuff. Put a third match just on edges. That's how it's gonna look like. Alright, let's do it. Yeah! Get two books of yours, like with a soft cover, and put them together like that and start it intervening them. Just put couple pages over here, couple pages over here, 
the if you like put more pages in Tardwin, the better it's gonna work. Alright, that's it. Two books in Tardwin like that, and now we're gonna grab by these two pieces. Like you see, the book ends over here, so you go up by this piece, and the other side of book ends over here. And you ask somebody to pull it apart, you know, and that's like impossible. Mythbusters did the video of that, and that's just impossible to do that. So you guys try it yourself, see if you can do it. Make so we're gonna make a small hole with the knife. Alright, we're gonna get that static electricity all on our pipe, plastic pipe. Then lift it up and see what happens. You see how it bends? You see how it bends a lot? Pretty crazy, huh? I'm not even touching it. So first thing we're gonna do, grab our pliers and toothpick and hoop cut them up like that and just you know if you let it go it's gonna stay like that like kinda pinch it and then we're gonna grab our water and dip it in kinda sideways alright and that's how it's set up there is a toothpick pliers and right here using this book to steady my hands up and put it at a drop so we can see what's going on in the water alright we're gonna turn off the light and put the laser on a water dab and see what we got oh look at that nastiness there's a big one oh this are freaking me out big times an egg in a glass and then pour white vinegar in there and we're gonna leave it soak in for like couple hours or so but check out what will happen whenever we soak it in just half of glass will do and we're gonna make naked egg so anyways we're gonna leave it alone for a couple hours and come back to it all right check it out this egg looks like it's done we're gonna take it out and you probably can wash it off but yeah i'll just wipe it off i guess as you can see, it's like pretty much naked egg, you see, and it's bouncy, pretty crazy, huh? Easy bouncy egg, or you can call it naked egg experiment, very fun way to do it. Mm -hmm. 